This case, heard by the full court of the Queensland Supreme Court, considered the tort of battery, and in particular whether it's necessary to prove any particular harm in order to make a case for battery. The circumstances seem to have arisen from an ongoing dispute between two rival groups in Innisfail. Calling them gangs might be overdoing it, but there were certainly disputing groups, and they'd sought one another out to fight. Some of them, including both Batiato and Lagana, were armed. There was what the court described as a melee, and in the course of this melee, Lagana struck Batiato on the head with a lump of wood. Batiato sued. Now, it seems pretty clear that neither the judge nor the civil jury were at all impressed with Batiato. The judge told the jury that if the elements were proven, but they felt Batiato deserved no real compensation, they should order nominal damages. The judge suggested $500. The jury, however, came back in and awarded Batiato nothing. Now, this put the judge in an odd spot, because on the one hand, the jury had found for Batiato. On the other hand, they'd also found that Batiato should receive no damages. And if there's no damages due, then there's no compensatable harm. The judge therefore entered judgment for the defendant on the basis that the plaintiff had not proved to the jury that any damages were payable. The plaintiff appealed. It's fair to say the Court of Appeal weren't too impressed with Mr. Batiato either. However, it did find that it's not a necessary element of battery that any compensatable harm must be committed. Justice Moynihan quoted Cole and Turner from the 18th century and Blackstone's commentaries from the same century, saying that every man's person is sacred and no other has the right to meddle with it in the slightest manner. Given that principle, the full court said of the jury that they could conclude that there had been an unlawful battery even if they were not impressed with the appellant's role. As a result, the Court of Appeal found that even though there was no compensatable harm, the jury had accepted Batiato's claim that there was an unlawful battery, and the judgment should have reflected this. So it remains that any unwanted contact, even where no harm is caused, can be a battery. Mm-hmm.